Private First Class Thomas Eugene, Gene Atkins. During the Second World War, on March 10, 1945, fighting Luzon, Philippine Islands, he was serving with A Company of the 327th Infantry, 32nd D Infantry Division, where he earned his Medal of Honor. He fought gallantly on the Villa Verde Trail in Luzon, Philippines. With two companies, he occupied a position on the ridge outside the perimeter defense, established by the 1st Platoon on the high hill. At about 0 to 300 hours, two companies of Japanese attacked with rifle and machine gun fire, grenades, and TNT charges and landmines, severely wounding Private First Class Atkins and killing two of his companions. Despite the intense hostile fire and pain from his deep wound, he held his ground and returned heavy fire. After the attack was repulsed, he remained in his position to repel any subsequent assaults instead of returning to the American lines for medical treatment. An enemy machine gun set up within 20 yards of his foxhole vainly attempted to drive him off by silencing his gun. The Japanese repeatedly made fierce attacks, but for four hours, Private First Class Atkins determinedly remained in his foxhole, bearing the brunt of each assault and maintaining steady and accurate fire until each charge was repulsed. At 700 AM, 13 enemy lay dead in front of his position. He had fired 400 rounds, all he and his two dead companions possessed, and had used three rifles until each had badly jammed too much for further operations. He withdrew during lull to secure a rifle and more ammunition and was persuaded to remain for medical treatment. While waiting, he saw Japanese within the perimeter and seizing a nearby rifle killed him. A few minutes later, while lying on a litter, he discovered an enemy group moving up behind the platoon's line. Despite his severe wounds, he sat up, delivered heavy rifle fire against the group, and forced them to withdraw. Private First Class Atkins' superb bravery and his fearless determination to hold his post against the main force of repeated enemy attack, even though painfully wounded, were major factors in enabling his comrades to maintain their lines against a numerical superior enemy force. He was presented with his medal on October 12, 1945 at the White House presented by President Harry S. Truman. He passed away September 15, 1999 in the United States.